Hey guys, welcome to the hyperlink where we get the latest Star Citizen news as they drop. Star Citizen Alpha 3.18, the latest patch just got leaked once again and it's very exciting this time. It looks like they're now testing, they're continuing their tests with PES but they're also expanding it to Gen 12 as well as Salvage. Alright, so now that's really exciting because this is a testament that testing is going well for my opinion before we get started i'd like to give a shout out to my channel members and patreon all right thank you guys for continuing to support also just to let you guys know we're still doing a giveaway for the anvil centurion if you'd like to participate click the link on the top right corner or you can find a link to that video in the description below my analytics also tell me that 80 percent of you that watch my content regularly are not subscribed so do me a quick favor and hit the subscribe button my goal is to hit 5,000 is to hit uh say 20,000 it's, it's 20,000 subscribers by the end of this year so just do me a favor and hit the subscribe button all right so let's get into this video so they are the play test is uh for PES gen 12 now and salvage all right so I'm just going to read some of the notes that we've gotten from the pipeline big shout out to them so it says um Good news everybody gen 12 is rendering is uh now fully enabled as of this build if you run into issues that you believe are related to this please report those in the issue console and be descriptive as possible with the hardware configurations the build proves stable if the build proves stable we would love uh to have players explore and test out a few features this includes the vulture salvaging gen 12 may cause hall scrape uh, hall scraping to not display correctly ship soft death racing um, track sites without the time trials missions gen 12 renderer bounties cargo deliveries and more this is awesome man all right so the very first one that they have mentioned is um, as a feature is the salvage hall scrape all right so it says the first implementation of salvage into the persist universe which includes both hall stripping as well as repair this includes both uh, performing a hall stripping and repairing by hand as well as hall stripping using the system aboard the drake vulture and the aegis reclaimer using highly advanced compression technology these tools can break down ships and uh, vehicles uh, exterior converting them into recycled material composites the stored the store and store them in the canister attached the player then can uh has the option to either use this material to repair their ship using the fps multi-tool by filling in the damage area or they can sell this material at a commodity as a commodity along with this being able to salvage player ships players will be able to uh scan and find salvageable shipwrecks among asteroids like the ring of yella this is really cool all right now 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 the ball is getting now the ball is rolling all right now the ball is rolling so it says vehicle hull scraping so salvage salvaging while in a vehicle um, is a mode like mining to be able to scrape the hull of a newly found wreck the target must have its shield turned off indicators in the ui will inform um will inform about the shield state uh, play to enter play play to enter and exit the salvage mode by hitting m which is the default keybind players uh can right click to uh, cycle through the attached beams in the sub item slot by left clicking the player can activate or deactivate the skull the uh scraper beam there are two modes players can be uh, can be in while salvaging uh, by pressing G default keybind. Converging the uh, fixed mode, fixed mode acts like a weapon and points the uh, salvage beams directly where the player aims. Uh, the ship while converging uh, mode uh, lets the player gimbal the beams independent. Uh, left alt and mouse wheel will uh, move. Uh, converging point while the left alt and right click will switch between the vertical and horizontal converging modes uh, players will need to manually remove uh, filled uh, storage boxes from the ship 
um, from the ship salvage area while um, area using a using a handheld tractor beam move them to the ship's cargo grid or convert it to into our mc canister for repairing fps hull scraping and repairing to utilize the fps hull scraping mechanics players will first need to acquire a grain multi-tool the um, salvage and repair module for for it in the ammunition canister for the salvage repair module as as will ship hull scraping players will be able to strip away the hull of a ship while it is while its shields are down indicators in the ui will inform you about the shield state the stored um, and store the recycled material composite in the canister players can recycle between players can cycle between salvage and repair mode by pressing b as a default keybind which would allow them to either scrape away material or to use a collective material to repair the whole ship this is awesome stuff man the fact that they're testing this this is awesome this is really good news that means pes is progressing along and that's the foundation of this patch so the fact that they're able to expand things is looking good for me all right so there's some more additional notes here it says greetings evo kadi we have an we have an early implementation of ship soft death in the build in the latest uh evo kadi build some notes on this so it says vehicles can now enter soft death state before a regular death state the soft that triggers favor favors precise damage over the blasting major damage uh, major, um, over blasting major damage in a soft that the vehicle is left intact and the crew and the pilot are left alive seats can be exited but cannot but not re-entered cargo is left fully intact additional damage to the vehicle will cause a critical death that will kill the crew and break apart mission completed related to kills will trigger on soft death that's good so that means you are um if you hunt down if you kill a bounty mission you can um you can get the kill on the soft death and you can actually get somebody to come in and salvage that vehicle. all right so doors unlock on soft death okay at the moment shields are left on in the state they were at, uh were in at disabled and gravity is left on but this will change in the future additional damage after a saw death will uh, trigger a critical death that will kill the crew and destroy a portion of the cargo for now saw death will um, will kill the crew of ai vehicle in addition this uh, currently affects some vehicles and we do not intend it uh, to we did not we do not intend to so that, that they're talking about like ground vehicles like dragonfly and an ox okay so it says we're looking for some early feedback and possible edge cases and issues um, you encounter with this system experiment or experiments are welcome and encouraged let us know what you run into this is really good I'm liking this, man. South Death is in as well. This is fantastic. I think the uh, 318 patch is looking better and better from patch to patch, and it's progressing well. I'm really excited about it. Hey, guys, I got more leaks in this video. I'll see you there.